There are two types of light boxes used for displaying backlit graphic film. There are what we call direct backlit light boxes, and there are also what are known as edge lit light boxes. Here we have a direct backlit light box, which is designed in the way most people would expect a light box to be. You can see that its lamps are oriented behind the viewing surface, so the light shines directly forward through the backlit graphic film. Here we have what we call an edge lit light box. In this design, the lamp shines sideways through the translucent panel behind your graphic film, thereby indirectly lighting up your graphic message. So which of these two lightbox designs will work best for your project? Let's take a look at the pros and cons for both the direct backlit and the edge lit lightboxes. First, direct backlit lightboxes are usually brighter than edge lit lightboxes because the light is transmitting directly from the lamps to the graphic surface, not shining sideways. This doesn't mean edge lit lightboxes aren't bright enough for most applications. Consider it this way. Most direct backlit light boxes have the potential to be slightly brighter than average, depending on some other factors such as how many lamps are being used, whereas most edge lit light boxes will give you a more standard level brightness. Another difference between direct backlit and edge lit light boxes is that direct backlit light boxes require more cabinet space behind the graphic in order to transmit the light uniformly through the empty space. Usually two to four inches deep is the minimum cabinet depth required to achieve adequate light diffusion. On the other hand, your average edge lit light box can be less than one inch deep since the light is transmitted sideways as we see here. The next consideration when comparing direct backlit and edge lit light boxes is what we call uniformity of diffusion. Uniformity of diffusion is basically the question of how uniform or even is the brightness or intensity of your light box from one corner of the display to the other. A direct backlit light box will always have the potential to deliver better uniformity than an edge lit one. For example, check out this direct backlit light box and notice how even the light intensity is spread over the entire face. Now look at this edge lit light box and see the slight glow around the edges where the lamps are positioned. Almost all edge lit light boxes exhibit this characteristic. In addition to this, as you increase the size of an edge lit light box, the brightness towards the middle of the graphic may start to drop off and get dimmer. This is because the larger the light box, the farther away the lamps get from the center of the backlit graphic film. The final consideration between direct backlit and edge lit light boxes is your investment. A direct backlit light box needs many more lamps to light up the display face than an edge lit one if it's using LED lamps. For example, a medium sized direct backlit light box may contain approximately 800 LED lamps, while a similar edge lit light box may contain only about 100 lamps. This means there will be higher startup and operating investments for the direct backlit option. That is, unless you choose to use fluorescent lamps. Considering all of these factors, both direct backlit and edge lit light boxes have their advantages and disadvantages, but hopefully this will enable you to make the best selection for your project.